as we open this video of Steamfest 2017 first logo to appear as part of our opening title sequence is 3016 which is or perhaps was part of the fleet of the now financially beleaguered Canberra Railway Museum the diesel at front of the train was 4520 While still at East Maitland, next to appear is Steamfest Perennial 3642, the Barrington Bullet, or as sometimes called the Steamfest Flyer. Now we're at Maitland Station, Steamfest Central, and coming into view is Rail Motor Pier 621 and 721. It has been learned that 2017 marks 10 years since the official retirement of the 620-720 class rail motors from the Newcastle Maitland Dungog line. The 621-721 pair were shuttling passengers between Saxon Vale Junction, alternatively referred to as Mount Thor, and Maple. I had planned to take one of the rides, but the two hour duration meant I'd be away from much of the Steamfest event, so I decided against the trip. As always, Sundays at Steamfest feature the great race. Two steam locos facing off against each other with a Tiger Moth biplane thrown into the mix as an added attraction. 3642 was the clear winner in 2017.
And now a close look at those vintage logos, or as close as can be with a crowd flocking around them. And the invariable problem for a tripod user like myself, the tripod will always get bumped. Now we watch as our locos head out on their respective excursions. 3016 to Brankston and 3642 to Patterson. Here we see 621721 returning from Saxon Vale Junction. The livery of this rail motor pair is as it was when these rail motors were first introduced in 1962. When they exited service in 2007, they were painted in a drab grey and yellow livery.
I was only expecting to see the one Railmoat appear at Steamfest 2017, but the Railmoat Society also ran the Tin Hairs. CPH3 was intended to be paired with CPH1 for the event, but problems with the motor meant that the regular pairing of CPH1 and 7 ran between Maitland and Patterson instead. Now we take a walk through a rail motor car. First, 721 and then we'll walk through 621 essentially these rail motors are the same but there are some subtle differences note the comfortable seating They might make you do it all for Yeah. Looks like our sources are correct. In terms of service years, the Tin Hairs had the longest career. Introduced in 1923, they were finally withdrawn in 1985, a period of roughly 62 years. As against the 62720 class rail motors from 1962 to 2007, roughly 45 years. The two periods overlapping each other for approximately 23 of those years. Our advice that passengers will be disembarking from this service prior to your boarding. 3642 returns from Patterson to collect passengers for a run to Port Waratah. On board will be two fellow YouTubers, Josh Dean, who shoots videos under the heading Steam in New South Rails, and Aidan Teske, who shoots videos under his own name. Check out their videos at your earliest opportunity. They put a lot of effort in their work, resulting in some great videos. The diesel running with 3642, by the way, is 4490. Please remain well back behind the yellow line and allow these passengers to disembark. This train is not yet ready to board. Please await the officers on the doors before boarding.
taking a closer look, we pan along the train and see Josh and Aidan having taken their seats aboard the train. Excursions on the steam locos had to be pre-booked, while those on the rail motors could be bought from a kiosk outside the station.
and after seeing 3642 away to Port Waratah, we now watch as 3016 after some tinkering departs for Brangston. And now 621721 is off to Saxon Vale Junction. This is the ride I might have taken but had second thoughts. Tin Hair Rail Motors returning from home base Patterson wait to take on another group of passengers. This is a light light here from Polo uh, Road. Here we take a last look at 3016 as the logo returns from Brankston.
and as 3016 departs once again to Branston, time for me to make my way back to East Maitland, shoot one last item, my piece to camera, and wrap up this video. Well, I'm standing on the platform of the old East Maitland Railway Station. It's a fitting place to bring to an end this week, this year's Steamfest activities for 2017. This old place used to uh, take travellers on to Morpeth. The lines are still in place even. But this old station has seen better days. Behind me you can hear some activity with the uh, trains coming and going. But uh, for me, well, it's the end of another year's activities. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like what you've seen, Click on the thumbs up button and leave a comment below. This is Neil Forbes, Trams and Trains, Steamfest 2017, wrapping up for another year.